everyone, I hope you're all doing well, and it's great to see you all watching today. I will be talking about Dragon Age Origins Awakening, and give you my thoughts about this great game expansion, so I hope you all enjoy, or at least find this video informative, though I would like to thank Jason Holt for suggesting the topic of this video. Now for those who are unaware, providing context courtesy of Wikipedia, quote, Dragon Age Origins Awakening is the expansion for the role-playing video game Dragon Age Origins. Awakening adds a new campaign that takes place during the aftermath of Dragon Age Origins. The game features new class specializations and skills for the player to develop. Awakening was released for Microsoft Windows, OS X, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360 on March the 16th, 2010 in North America, March 18th in Europe, and March 19th in the United Kingdom. It was released for the Mac on August the 31st, 2010. Set six months after the events of Dragon Age Origins in the land of Amaranthine within the kingdom of Ferelden, Dragon Age Origins Awakening places the player in the role of a Grey Warden trying to rebuild the Order while also dealing with political matters as the Arl of Amaranthine." Unquote which seems all well and good to me, folks, and goes to show the expansion of the origins of a great game franchise. For now, at least. Anyway, now on to my personal views on Dragon Age Origins Awakening. Now, personally, I was aware of Dragon Age Origins Awakening prior to the suggestion of Jason Holt. Thanks again, by the way. Though it has been a while since I've played this game expansion myself. So after a bit of investigating, which usually consists of internet browsing and analysis of social media, all the while replaying this game in question, I have found Dragon Age Origins Awakening to be the model for a great expansion for a role-playing game. A DLC so good, it deserves to be its own game. That's why I simply call it Awakening. And although it is rather dated graphics-wise, similarly to Origins, Awakening was made and released in 2010, in between the release of Dragon Age Origins in 2009 and Dragon Age 2 in 2011. No wonder they called it Bioware Magic. Three great games in the space of two years, with Awakening's greatest strength being its story, less so in regards to characters, though they can still hold their own, rather than its combat and graphics, which were dated even at the base game's release, never mind with the expansion. Though such strengths of the story ensured that Awakening is widely regarded as a great game expansion. Not as good as Origins, mind you, as well as what you do in Awakening having no future consequences beyond it, as of the making of this video in early August of 2023, it is but one of many great games developed by Bioware when it was one of the best developers of role-playing games. Less so now with the disappointment of Andromeda and the disaster of Anthem. And to me at least, Awakening is a great balance of story, character, and consequences, especially by the standards of 2023, that shows what might have been for Dragon Age if Bioware had kept that game engine and the style of Dragon Age Origins. At least, in my view. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my thoughts on Dragon Age Awakening. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel that bears my name, because the truth is reality-based. And check you are still subscribed, folks, because YouTube likes keeping more independent and up-and-coming content creators down while propping up the dying establishment, as well as their allies in the mainstream media. You can also find me on social media, be it on Twitter, Instagram, Rumble, and Kick2. All the links are in the description down below, where you can join me in defending reality and being based in doing so. Suggestions for videos like this one are always welcome in the comments section down below. And so I shall end this video by wishing you all a great day. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, 
and no other genders, binaries, tranny demons, or full-blown AIDS demons. Bye for now, folks.